This is English for Grade 9. Produced by Tigray Education Bureau. Transmitted by Dimsuoyan Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media. And also FM Makala 104.4. Hello students, welcome to Radio Lesson English for Grade 9. Okay students, today we are going to cover different topics in Unit 8, Part A and Part B. Students, we will learn the use of English language. Good, students. Take out your textbooks on page 142 and 146. Okay, students, in lesson A89, language focus, verb patterns, and lesson B83, if sentence. Students, we begin with the discussion of the lesson. What do you know about verb and verb patterns? And if sentence. Very good, students. Some verbs are followed by ing. These are finish, enjoy, consider, imagine, and others. Example one. Have you finished washing the clothes? Example two. Do you like playing football with your friends? Example three. I enjoy eating bread. Okay, students. Some verbs are also followed by to plus B1. These are decide, want, intend, hope, and others. Students. When we construct sentences using the above verbs, we see the following examples. Example 1. I have decided to buy some new books. Example 2. I want to be a teacher. Okay, students. Some verbs are followed by both the ing and two plus verb one. These are prefer, start, hit, stop, and others. Let's see these sentences. Example one. I prefer eating at night or I prefer to eat at night. Example 2, the baby started to cry or the baby started crying. Example 3, I hate eating chocolates or I hate to eat chocolates. Okay, students, when we summarize this session, some verbs can be followed, ing, and some verbs also can be followed to plus verb one. And the other one is some verbs are also followed both ing and to plus verb one. This is all about session one. When we come to the second session, it is if sentence. Students, in Unit 4, 8, 4.8, we looked at if sentences to talk about future possibility. Example, if I pass all my exams, I will go to university. And also, to talk about habits and general truths. 
example if we heat ice it melts we can also use conditional sentence to talk about things which are very unlikely and impossible conditions for example if i had a lot of money i would buy a smartphone we use this form to talk about present or future situations which means i don't have money so i don't buy a smartphone we use where instead of was as the past tense of to be after if if i were you i would wash that cut on your foot students either part of if sentence can go first or second in the sentence this means if i did my homework on time my teacher would be pleased with me or my teacher would be pleased with me if i did my homework on time please students based on the above explanations answer the following questions question number 1 do you enjoy blank a dancing b to dance c to dancing d dance let me repeat it do you enjoy blank a dancing b to dance c to dancing d dance question number 2 i want to blank home now a going b to go c to going d gone i want blank home now a going b to go c to going d gone question number 3 if i studied hard i blank my exam a will pass b would pass c would pass it d would have passed it if i studied hard i blank my exams a will pass b would pass c would passed d would have passed welcome back again everyone i'm sure your answer have been very effective very good students let us do together are you ready good the answer to question number 1 is a dancing which means do you enjoy dancing to b to go i want to go home now 3 b would pass if i studied hard i would pass my exams students have you got all the answers well done now let me summarize the lessons we have discussed the verbs and verb patterns like verbs followed by ing verbs followed by to form and verbs followed by both ing and to form here is a list of some uh, useful verbs that are followed by infinitive or to form arrange decide forget hope learn manage mean need offer promise seem want wish these verbs are followed by to plus verb one 
Here are some useful verbs that are followed by ing. Those are admit, enjoy, finish, keep, mind. Verbs followed by both to plus verb one and also by ing. These verbs include listen, start, begin, continue, hate, like, love, and prefer. Example for this pattern, I like to listen to the radio. Second, I like listening to the radio. Students, for this two sentences, I like or the verb like can be followed by both ing and to form. In addition, we have seen if sentences such as the zero conditional sentence, the first conditional sentence, the second conditional sentence, and the third conditional sentence. The sentences have two clauses, the if clauses and the main clauses. And these conditional sentences have also their own forms. For example, in zero conditional sentence, if clause, simple present, and main clause, simple present, because it expresses about the general truth. Example, if you heat ice, it melts. Conditional sentence type 1 is formed if clause, simple present, and main clause, will, shall, can, may, plus verb 1, or infinitive. Example, if I study hard, I will pass the exam. Conditional sentence type 2 is formed if clause, simple past, and main clause, would, should, could, might, plus verb 1. Example, if I studied hard, I would pass the exam. Conditional sentence type 3 is formed if clause past perfect tense and main clause would, should, could, might, plus, have, plus, verb 3. For example, zero conditional sentence. If you sit in the sun, you get burned. Here, I'm talking about every time a person sits in the sun, the burning is a natural consequence of the sitting. In the first conditional sentence, a particular situation, example, if you sit in the sun, you will get burned. Here, I am talking about what will happen today. Another day might be different. The second conditional sentence, if I knew the answer, I would tell you, which means I don't know the answer, so I don't tell you. The third conditional sentence, if she had studied hard, she would have passed the exam. This means we know she didn't study hard and she didn't pass. All right, students, let me give you some activities. Choose the correct option to complete each sentence. Question number one. If people eat too much, they dash fat. A. Got. B. Get. 
C. Getting D. Will get If people eat too much they dash fat A. Got B. Get C. Getting D. Will get The correct answer is get. Question number two. If I dash the lottery, I would buy a big house. If I dash the lottery, I would buy a big house. The correct answer is B1. Question number three. If we had taken a taxi, we dash the plane. A. Wouldn't have missed. B. Missed. C. Will miss. D. Will miss it. If we had taken a taxi, we dash the plane. A. Wouldn't have missed. B. Missed. C. Will miss. D. Will missed. D would missed. The correct answer is A. Wouldn't have missed. Question number four. If it rains, I dash to the park. A. Will not go. B. Would not go. Wouldn't not go. C. Wouldn't have gone. D will not went. If it rains, I dash to the park. A will not go. B would not go. C wouldn't have gone. D will not went. The answer for question number four is A will not go. Students, I hope you did them well. Check your answers again. In our next lesson, we will be discussing Unit 8, Lesson B89, Language Use, Using Quantifiers. On page 151 and Lesson B810, Writing, Spelling Rules, and Doubling Consonants. Students, this is all we have for today's lessons. Until next time, goodbye.